one off season before the NBA's best player at 25 years old or younger in the world hits the market, this video I'll be deciding where Giannis will go. The Bucks have confirmed that they aren't trading the Greek freak even if he denies an extension, which means that the hunt in 2021's free agency to land him is officially going to be insane. After seven seasons of coming up short in Milwaukee, it's time for Adetokounmpo to start legitimizing his legacy with championships. So, will Adetokounmpo join a top market team like the Lakers or Knicks, or team up with the current favorites to land him in the Miami Heat, Toronto Raptors, or Golden State Warriors? You're about to find out the reasons why Giannis would consider joining each of the six teams I think could get him, and ultimately my prediction of where he'll go. New York's by far the least likely landing spot for Giannis, as ever since LeBron James nearly joined the Knicks in 2010, they've been rumored to be signing the next best free agent basically every year. Giannis uploaded a picture of himself in a Knicks jersey on Instagram a few months ago, saying one day in the caption. Only problem, Knicks fans, is that it was an April Fool's joke. But take this next bit of information as you will. A report from 10 months ago surfaced that the Knicks wanted to hire Jason Kidd to lure Giannis in 2021. Kidd just won a championship as an assistant coach with the Lakers and was probably Giannis's favorite coach he ever played for. Jason coached Giannis for nearly four seasons, and they became so close that Game of Zones would do an entire episode after Kidd got fired in January of 2018 on Giannis and Kidd's relationship. So if the Knicks made Jason their head coach, plus Mitchell Robinson and RJ Barrett take the next step in their development and lead the Knicks to new heights in 2021, then they move up in the stakes to land the Greek freak. But I don't see them being much of a contender, However, I like what they have going on with their young players. A more realistic future destination for Giannis is the Dallas Mavericks, who have two efficient three-point shooting young stars who could perfectly space the floor for Giannis. According to Brian Windhorst of ESPN, the Dallas Mavericks will prioritize Giannis in 2021's free agency. Windhorse claimed the Mavs will be at the head of the line for Adetokounmpo's services. Wendy also said that the Mavs are likely to be fairly quiet this offseason and preserve cap space for their run at Giannis next summer. A one-two punch of Doncic and Adetokounmpo would have a chance at being one of the greatest tandems ever. Then Porzingis would be your third option, so this would be scary. Especially because Luka showed up big time in his first playoff appearance in 2020, averaging 31 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists. Luka's ability to create offense on the perimeter and hit 3-point shots would perfectly space the floor out for Giannis's blistering slashing. If Giannis decides to join the Lakers, he'd make it clear that he's all about the rings. However, in a world where the Greek freaks a Laker, the competitiveness of the NBA would go down and the predictability of the league would go way up. The Lakers would be a three-headed monster with LeBron James, Giannis Adetokounmpo, and Anthony Davis leading the way. They'd likely have a similar run to the Kevin Durant and Splash Brother-led Warriors, but not only rings determine how great an NBA player's legacy is, it comes down to whether or not a player can win finals MVP. I don't think Giannis wants to be known as a ring chaser, but we thought that about KD when he was in OKC, and we know how that turned out. But here's why there's a solid chance Giannis ends up a Laker. We know Adetokounmpo wants to be considered among the greatest of all time when his career's over, but he needs to significantly improve his jumper and ability to hit shots off the dribble on the perimeter. In LA, Giannis wouldn't have to worry about going outside of himself. He could just attack the paint and play off AD, and of course an all-time great playmaker in LeBron James. The Lakers came up short of adding a third star in Kawhi last year, but next year the lure of playing with King James will be even stronger given he's now a four-time NBA champion, so the Lakers should have a very strong pitch to the freak. Quickly, before we get into the top three favorites and my early Giannis decision on where he's signing in 2021, make sure you're subscribed and hit notifications. It'd help your boy out big time. I am a one-man show, but I'll be posting NBA hot takes, predictions, and stories for you all through this offseason. So join the channel. I'd be honored to have you. One of the most reputable NBA reporters, Shams from The Athletic, recently reported that the Miami Heat are quote-unquote going all-in for Giannis Adetokounmpo. Legendary Heat president Pat Riley will attempt to deliver South Beach another big three. Of course, in 2010, he acquired Chris Bosh, 
re-signed Dwayne Wade and then landed LeBron in the epic decision. In 2021, Riley will be trying to pair Giannis Adetokounmpo with an all-star duo in Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. The Heat also have a young core of intriguing three-point snipers with guys like Duncan Robinson and of course Tyler Harrow who just broke out in the playoffs as a rookie. Overall, there's three reasons why Giannis would go to Miami. One, the fact that their roster led by two all-stars was good enough to win the Eastern Conference this year. Two, the historically great organization they have from top to bottom. And three, the attraction of South Beach. It's a fact that NBA players, especially the most elite free agents, want to play in warmer weather plus under the bright lights of a big city. The warmth plus the glit and glamour of Miami provides a perfect environment for off-court amenities. There's a reason why Shaq, LeBron, Chris Bosh, and Jimmy Butler all chose to sign there. There's a reason stars Alonzo Mourning and Dwayne Wade stayed in Miami for 95% of their careers. The Heat are going to be a massive player in the stakes for the best young player in the league in Giannis. But do they have more attraction than these next two teams? Stay tuned to find out. We've seen when the Toronto Raptors have a legitimate top three player in the game running the show, that they have the firepower overall to win a ring. They recently made crucial mistakes down the stretch of Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Semis and were eliminated by the Celtics, but the case for the Six landing the Freak is a pretty good one. They've got the best general manager in the league in Masai Ujiri, who's already steadily built the Raptors up from a non-playoff team to NBA champions. And Giannis is also pretty good friends and has admiration for Masai Ujiri. Just take it from the Greek freak himself. In an interview this past January 25th at the NBA Paris game, Giannis was asked about the NBA coming together with FIBA to launch the Basketball African League. Masai Ujiri's name wasn't even mentioned in the reporter's question, but here's how Adetokounmpo answered. Launching the NBA Africa League, that's amazing. Uh, you know, I've heard about it. I talked with uh, Masai a little bit about it. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that always wants the best for Africa, the best for uh, Africa players. And uh, just giving them the opportunity to showcase their talent and uh, have their own league, it's amazing. And uh, that he's able to help Africa um, and the players in uh, that type of way. Uh, because, you know, he's for sure the one that was pushing that the whole thing and um, definitely when we were talking about it he he had big things in his uh, mind and uh, that's amazing that he's able to go out there and uh, accomplish all those things what was the first question that you asked me unbelievable with his teammate eric bloodstow sitting right next to him Giannis went on for over 30 seconds displaying clear admiration for the general manager of his conference rival Masai Ujiri. Speaking from a Raptors fan's perspective, if Giannis was interested in becoming the number one option for the Six, here's why I think it'd be a great decision. First of all, he'd immediately realize that the Toronto fan base is undoubtedly the most passionate in the NBA and that the environment of Scotiabank Arena is like no other building. And secondly, if the 2020 playoffs taught us anything, it's that the Raptors' title in 2019 wasn't a one-man effort at all. Kawhi's Clippers got embarrassed by the Nuggets in the fourth quarter of Game 7, while the loss of a number one option for the Raptors left Siakam, Powell, and Gasol in bigger roles, and Toronto lost in a hard-fought seven-game series, with the final game going down to the wire. So if the two-time MVP Giannis decides to take what Kawhi left behind, the Raptors could be right back in title contention. Imagine the greatest pure slasher of this generation not having to worry about shooting another perimeter jump shot ever again in his career. After the Warriors' five straight Western Conference championships and three NBA championships in five years, the free agency loss of Kevin Durant to Brooklyn and the Splash Brothers' major injuries put the Warriors dead last in their conference in 2019-20. It was a 15-win season, and it was their first time not qualifying for the playoffs since 2012. Curry missed 60 games with an ankle injury, but returned in March to drop 23 points in 27 minutes. And after clay has been recovering from a knee injury he suffered in the 2019 finals, he's been getting back to work in the Warriors training facility already. But if the Warriors can come back to be even close to what they were during their dynasty, then the NBA's in trouble. And adding the Greek freak would only make that statement even more true. On February 20th of 2019, ESPN's Mark Stein reported that the Warriors will be quote-unquote internally mused to pursue Giannis in 2021 meaning they'll be completely absorbed in trying to convince Adetokounmpo to join. Considering all you just heard, here's my decision. 
The Heat, I think, have a talent in Jimmy Butler that's a bit too similar to Adetokounmpo, and the chemistry could be an issue there. The other two options where Giannis might sign are the Warriors and Raptors, in my opinion, and if the Splash Brothers take over the NBA again, then I think Giannis signs there. However, my way-too-early decision for where Giannis Adetokounmpo will land is the Toronto Raptors. You can call me biased all you want. But Toronto's championship resume, combined with how great of a fit he'd be in their offense and Giannis's admiration for their GM, lead me to believe the North will get the freak in 2021.